Guys, you must have seen the video on the screen uh, where former Minister of Education, Femi Kamika, they actually heard a lot of insults on the Nigerian journalist at a press conference in Calabar. But um, I bet you don't know the beginning of the whole episode, so I'm going to bring in you more details on that. But then, if this is the first time you're watching a, a, a video, I'd like you to click on the subscribe button so you'll be the first to always get notifications whenever we publish and upload a new video. In order to make it better, you can also click on the bell notification sign beside the subscribe button so you also get notifications straight up whenever we upload a new video. With this, I say welcome to another interesting edition of uh, ENTV Newsmakers. I'm saying this on live TV. What? No, put, put that thing down. Let me address. What type of stupid question is that? What type of stupid question is that? Bankrolling who? Do you know who you are talking to? Bank. I will not take any questions from this man. What type of insulting question is that? Which, which bankroll? For, to do what? Who can give me money for anything? Who do you think you are talking to? Bankroll what? Go and report yourself to your publisher. Bankroll what? Please don't insult me here. Okay, I don't want to take any questions okay. from this man. Okay. Very stu I could see from your face before you got here how stupid you are. Don't ever talk to me like that. Who do you think you are talking to? Bankroll who? You think, you think that I, I, I'm one of those ones you'll be... From who? From how? When? Where? How? You have a small mind, very small mind. Don't judge me by your own standards. I've been in politics since 1990. I'm not one of these politicians you think will just come. I was taking, I've been locked up how many times by this government? Suffered. I've been persecuted. Unlike most of the politicians you follow for brown envelope, you. Don't, don't ever judge me by that standard. I spend, I don't take. And I'm not a poor man. I've never been and I will never be. Bankroll how? Don't ever suggest that to me. I'm, I'm sorry that was deeply insulting. I don't often get annoyed in press conference. I've been doing this type of thing for many, many years. Don't you ever make that kind of suggestion to me. Sorry, sir. Thank you, sir, for your time. Sir. Bankroll who a former minister, a lawyer. Sorry, sir. Got his language. Sorry, sir. Don't ever try that with me again. No. Don't, please. You see me well. Don't ever. All right? I have a short fuse. Okay? Sorry, don't. Sorry, sir. Try it with others. Don't. I won't just say right now. I will hit you hard. Don't. And if anybody sent you to ask that question and gave you brand new, go and tell them you got more than they bargained for to do it. Sorry, Very rude. It's not the standard of daily trust at all. And I will report you to your publisher. Thank you. Sorry, sir. Any other questions? No, that's okay, that's okay, so, Imagine that. No, sorry, sir. Somebody has been on the road for how long? You are coming to talk about that. You have seen the video that is now in circulation where the former minister actually called out a Nigerian journalist, called him several unprintable names. But I guess you don't know the the beginning of that whole episode. Now, a couple of weeks back, um, a former Zamfara state governor, Abdulaziz Yari, actually went to the airport and... Um, he had an altercation with the airport uh, officials you know while he was they were trying to in fact he actually breached uh, covid-19 protocol at the Malamin Kano International Airport foreign officials uh, actually accosted him to to disinfect him and his uh, belongings when the ex governor actually pushed the foreign official away and that caused a kind of uproar on twitter while the ex governor felt insulted why for the um, official who he said actually had little or no respect for the man of his status and then um fan that is the federal port authority of nigeria actually described them um, yari's um, um uh, show uh, yari's attitude as a show of shame and irresponsible and now that was where all hell was let loose being a former um, aviation minister who understands what um, it means to breach uh, protocols as important as COVID-19 protocols. Femi Fenica, they also went on Twitter and on other social media platforms to blast Yari and, you know, said some some nasty things about Yari. Now, fast forward to what occurred in Calabar. 
For weeks now, Fanika Ade had been on tour of the South South and the South East and several South East states where he's been monitoring projects and then grading the projects uh, on the others of whom we don't know anyway. And some people believe he has been sponsored by some governors to come and help expose the projects pending 2023 as some of them will not be returning back to government house. You know, they want to also give some um energy and some voice to some of the projects that they've carried out in their states so now this time around he was in calabar where he took a tour of some of uh, governor ben Ayade of cross rivers um uh, project and um, it was at the press conference where he wanted to address the media that the incident is watched there where you are seeing on the screen occurred now coincidentally also the correlation here is that Yari, who is from, is a northern governor, and then this journalist in question is um, a Daily Trust newspaper correspondent, who Daily Trust, as well as you know, is also a paper that is that has its um its operational of head office in the north. So, Fanika they actually thought that um you know this journalist was being sponsored by one of his arch enemies, Yari, and that was why all hell was let loose, and that was why his fuse got blown and he had to throw in such um very unprintable uh, in very in such unprintable words you know while at while um, in the press conference now the, the big question everyone has been asking is if you think there is no iota of truth in the whole of that why are you so disturbed that question to many is seen as very responsible and and very 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 on the spot question that needed an answer so fanica should have used that opportunity to address that big issue because a lot of people also share some same perception now right now as you're watching this this video has now gone viral with a lot of people calling out femme fanica and calling him several other names Femi Fanika Ade is a Nigerian lawyer, essayist, thesist, and a very vocal um, individual who often speaks his mind on national issues. But this time around, a lot of people feel he didn't get it right. You know, his venom on the Daily Trust journalist, people felt was uncalled for. If you share same perception, you can use the comment section to tell us how you feel, what you feel. If you feel he is wrong this time around, you can also use the comment section. Don't forget that Femi Fanika Ade also has a lot of fraud cases hanging on his neck as a former Nigerian minister who was accused of embezzling billions and millions of naira belonging to the aviation ministry. And then it is no coincidence for someone who people have described as a con man, a professional con man who will make noise for anyone who is actually who is actually paying his bills. You can imagine what people are feeling right now. Have your say at the comment section and then keep following us, keep sharing our videos. If this is the first time you're watching our video, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification time beside the subscribe button.